Deploying an EAM system across multiple sites presents a unique set of challenges for an organization. We've seen companies spend millions of dollars on software and still not get the information they need. Not because the software was bad, but because they didn't prepare the organization for EAM success. Enterprise asset management requires consistency across the organization. You have to think enterprise not only in software, but also in process, data, roles, and other areas. You have to standardize on how you manage work orders, how you manage spare parts, and how you procure. The penalty for not standardizing is steep. You end up with multiple software configurations, disparate data sets, myriad security groups, and divergent coding structures, all of which compromise reporting and system usability. This can lead to a costly system restart and redeployment. For that reason, going enterprise with your EAM software system should begin with the development of an organizational asset management model. A set of standards designed to get all of the sites aligned on key elements that drive EAM success. A model establishes common processes, shared coding structures, standardized roles, and uniform KPIs to create an environment where the EAM system can thrive. An organizational asset management model drives healthy EAM software performance by setting standards and laying a solid foundation of best practices across the organization. It defines workflows, business rules, data conventions, and more. It gets all sites on the same page, speeds up the configuration and training process, and establishes a foundation for audits. A model provides the playbook, the game plan, for the enterprise implementation of an EAM system. Getting everyone aligned, executing like processes with like tools, using common data sets on a foundation of best practices is key to value creation and is at the heart of going enterprise with EAM.